Hey, this is uh, Paul Heineman. Uh, coming to you guys today, kind of show you a little modification I did to my uh, 2010 uh, Coleman pop-up camper Sun Valley edition. Uh, if you guys are familiar with these pop-up campers, you know a lot of them have uh, you know refrigerators and hot water heaters and whatnot that come installed in these already. And uh, the common issue that you have with this, especially the uh, refrigerator, is that the amount of heat that builds up in this compartment on the outside. Uh, can I show you real quick? You know, this compartment right here, um, this would be where the vent would normally be, and then down here below is where you have all your controls um, and whatnot for for your uh, refrigerator. So this area here typically gets pretty warm, which kind of affects the, uh, the functioning of the refrigerator and how cold it can get. So some things I saw online, people were installing these uh, little cooling fans, kind of like the one I've pictured here. Um, and some people gave it pretty good reviews as far as it helping uh, regulate the, uh, the heat that forms up in there, which in turn will help the uh, function of the refrigerator so it gets colder like it should. So basically what I did is uh, I took this panel off that used to be right here, um, which is now down there, cleaned off all the edges and everything like that because I'm going to reseal it when I go to put this back on. And then what that did is expose the area here where the fan is. And what I realized is that there's a board right up here and then there's a kind of a thin piece right here. This board up here is more secure. So what I did was I bought one of these fans off Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, then I bought these little teacup hooks right there and right there. Twisted those in, got a zip ties and zip tied it to where the screw attaches to the fan itself, that long leg screw. And uh, just put zip ties on there and you can adjust it to how low or how high you want it to hang in there. And I've got mine adjusted right there. It's about pretty good height um, and it runs really well. Puts out a lot of good air. So then the next thing I had to do was figure out how I was gonna get power to it. And what I realized when I opened this up was that there was already one power outlet here. Now all it is is just one outlet. That top one is a dummy one. Uh, but the, blunt, the bottom one had the uh, actual outlet itself, which was what the uh, refrigerator was plugged into. So what I did is I got one of these little three-way uh, deals and plugged that in to give me one more uh, outlet to use for the fan to be plugged into. So I've done that, um, hoping it doesn't cause any issues. Uh, I've turned the uh, refrigerator on now and uh, let it run to get it warmed up, see how it goes, and uh, see if I've got any issues. And... Uh, but it seems to work pretty well right now. I don't feel any excess heat buildup or anything like that as far as the outlet and stuff goes. So it seems like it, that might work. Um, anything changes, I would certainly let you guys know. Um, again, I, hopefully this will work. It seems like it's gonna do well. Uh, it's really putting out some pretty good air, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, any questions, comments, man, let me know. Thanks.